The skin is the largest organ on our body and it's really underutilised as a form of communication, as a form of building empathy or emotion. So if we can heighten an experience through touch, then I think we're reaching people on a totally new level. Wearable Experiments is a wearable technology company based in Sydney and New York that I co-founded with Ben Moyer. I came from a fashion language, he came from a technology language, and we're building an entirely new language around wearables and around touch. Touch can become this ubiquitous form of communication, so what we figured out is how we could use this touch sensation to do many things for us. And we've built a navigation product where the haptic technology sits in the back of your jacket and it has an ability to, to indicate when you should turn left when you should turn right, and then a sensation of when you've reached your destination. Our message is that the tech always needs to be invisible, and you need to put the look and feel, the comfort, the elegance of the garment first. Um, and that means making it as human as possible. We really wanted to transform viewing sports. I think people have a disconnect with sports sometimes, and it doesn't matter how many screens you put in a room, I would want to know what they're feeling. Our fan jerseys are unlike anything that's been experienced before. It becomes really, really synonymous with watching a game. We've built a language around haptics, around a sensation in the chest, so that we can understand what the players are feeling first and then how to transform that into a, basically a physical song on the body. When you open our app, you select which team you're following. That is then powered by a Bluetooth module that is communicating to you in your chest. And then as it's happening live in the game, it's receiving a stream of data from our server. And then you're experiencing the sensation through Bluetooth into your shirt. As you're sitting there, or if you've turned around and you're no longer watching the screen, you still know what those players are feeling. The fan jersey, it empathises with the, with the team that you've decided to follow. Haptic technology could be involved in everything we do. When thinking about music, I think there's some really interesting conversations to be had. Like I think understanding the emotions that the composer is expecting compared to the emotions that the listener is hearing, we know what that brain activity is like. So it's about tapping into that. We can write those physical songs that go precisely with the music so that you can actually feel the sensation of that song wherever you would naturally feel a song. There are many design challenges. Um, for me, particularly, it's always about not compromising the garment. What we'd love to do is work with the circuit boards knitted into the garment because it actually folds and curves with the body and the shapes around you rather than just another stiff board that you've stuck into a pocket. Essentially, I need teeny tiny batteries, I need flexible chips, and I need them to have a reasonable voltage but in a really small form. When you think about the body as a 3D object, even 4D, then you start thinking really differently about how you design tech and you don't think about it as a flat object anymore. I build for the body, but what I feel I can do now is make beautiful things do something. Do something other than just be beautiful. They can perform a purpose, they can navigate you, they can build empathy for you or they can connect you to your partner.